I am taking the stock spring out and replacing it with this uh, race deck spring and the reason I'm doing that is I am too light for this bike so I'm not able to get a good sack number I can barely move it when I sit on it with my gear barely about half an inch so I'm going to replace it with softer spring here's how I have this secure for this setup what I did was I used the paddock stand to lift the rear in the front I used a triple tree stand then after that I used the two jack stands to support the weight of the bike on the left side it was much easier to slide it underneath the foot peg the challenge on the right side is the brake lever and the brake switch in the way so I made sure not to position the jack stand where it would push on the brake lever and also not to push on the brake switch when I got done with that I kind of just pulled the rear stand off it's not uh, holding the bike anymore I'm just putting it there because I just want to so that is how I got the bike secured so the first thing we are going to do is take the linkage off we'll take that one out and get the bottom part of the shock loose then come up here and take this bolt off and the shock should be loose right now there is tension on it because the weight of the wheel and the swing arm is pulling it down I'm going to be using a 14 mil uh, socket with an extension and a ratchet and on the left side I'll be using this uh, wrench to hold the nut on the left side so here we have it I have there is a little hole underneath this uh, fairing I passed the 17 mil wrench in there I'm gonna be turning this side while I hold the wrench on the other side so this will require two hands or better yet I'll be using my little power tool on the other side because I don't have another hand to hold it on the left side so I'm gonna use the one on the right side all right so there's the power tool is the way to go so I got it loose with the power tool I got scared because when I was trying to turn the wrench on the other side the bike started moving so here is a 17mm nut I need to clean it before I put it back so that one is out I am going to knock the bottom bolt out with uh, this piece of wood and a hammer so there Yep, it moved. All right. So once I pull that out, the swing arm is going to drop. So to kind of help it come out, I'm going to be playing with this. There it is. So now the swing arm is going to drop. That was easy. Oh. So this is out. Let me check if these bolts are the same. Well, so the shorter one is on the bottom and the longer one is on the top. So I'm going to take all the bolts out and kind of have the bolts in these places to help me you know which, which goes where. So I already took the top off and that one off but I don't have room to drop it the shot so I'm going to be taking these two off as well here's what I got right now so these plates I put them the way they came out so that one is on the left side and this on the right side so I'm going to this time I should be able to drop the shot from the bottom 
I had enough room to pull the shock out and what was holding me back was the fairing was in the way so I had to remove that little bolt to get it out. Alright so you clamp this down, you compress the spring, you see this thing, you slide this thing below the nut and push it out to get it out. So now this is out, you can take this whole thing out and gently release the pressure. The spring is out. The aftermarket spring was shorter than the OEM spring. So I purchased the collar that came with the setup to make the length the same. So you install the collar first, then the spring and everything else follows. Basically reverse of how it came apart. New shock, I mean new shock spring installed. Okay, that was much easier than removal. There we go. 